Kelly Goodstein is a 48-year-old cover girl, cover girl, model, and author of the book Face This Real Advice from Real Models. And today, she's spilling the secrets on some very unusual, unusual ideas. Good to see you. Nice to see you always. Can we start with the kitty litter? I know. It sounds a little <laughs> crazy, right, for our beauty. Um, but it, there's some truth to it. As long as you're using kitty litter that's made from bentonite clay. Bentonite clay is what spas around the world use for their mud treatments, but those are very expensive, and this whole bag, $2.50. Wait, <laughs> are you kidding me? Okay, so what do we do with it? Okay, well, it's pretty easy. You just add water, and you can heat it up, and you can make it perfectly for yourself. Uh, if you want um, some ideas and recipes, you can visit my blog for so that. So you're using it as a clay? Yes, it's a clay mask. It's exactly the same clay. A clay Bentonite mask for clay. your face. Mm -hmm. Kitty litter. There you go. All right, I need your home phone number in case it doesn't work. <laughs> Keep the cats away for a while. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. That's yes. incredible. Okay, let's talk about deodorant for your face. Yeah, antiperspirant for your face. And this trick comes right from the red carpet. Before they had all these mattifying primers and lotions, um, makeup artists would use this to keep their stars from being shiny. And it works because both of these have ingredient called dimethicone. And that's a silicone oil that's found in a lot of our beauty products that uh, keeps moisture in it. It has this protective barrier. So that really does work. Um, okay, I'm gonna trust you on that. Yeah, and so, you know. <laughs> so if, just spray it. I wouldn't spray it, but um, I would get the hypoallergenic clear gel okay. and just put a little bit on your fingertips and, and use it. After all your makeup. Yeah, well, I would just use it on your T-zone, maybe okay. along your hairline, or okay. if you have a glistening cleavage, you might want to use it there. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, speaking of deodorant, what can we use if we forget? Ours? Yeah, oftentimes we run out the door and yeah. we've forgotten our deodorant. and. Hand sanitizer works great because the it kills the odor, um, the bacteria that makes the odor, and then it leaves you dry because of the alcohol. It evaporates very quickly, so that's a go-to. And usually, you can find that in public restrooms or someone's purse. Someone has it usually. That is a that's kind of a. Great I've tip. used that tip quite a bit. Oh. <laughs> All right, frizzy hair. Right now, everybody's complaining about it because of the weather and the humidity. What can we do with that? Well, most of us know that we should blot our hair and not like rub it vigorously, but it also makes a difference what you're using. So you should use a 100% cotton t-shirt. And you might say, well, I have these beautiful 100% Egyptian cotton towels, but it's not the fab, or it's not the material per se, because cotton is very absorbent. But when you look at these towels, they have these little uh, loops and what happens if you're a curly hair girl, especially with tightly coiled curls, right. it gets caught in there and it breaks, so it causes a lot of frizz. So what what should we use then? Just a cotton t-shirt. Very simple. Interesting. Simple always works. Okay. <laughs> All right. Dryer sheets. Love them for so many different uses. It's true. And you know, I've been on a lot of photo shoots where you get static hair, and especially yes. in Arizona when it's dry. It's impossible to get rid of, and you know, makeup artists are always spraying lots of hairspray. Well, that doesn't get rid of it, but dryer sheets do. You just take one, unfold it, put it from your scalp to your tips, and uh, voila, the static will go away. Great tip on yes. that. All right, don't tell me you're going to put Pepto Bismol on your face. You yeah. are going to tell well, me that. Okay. I mean, Pepto Bismol and Milk of Magnesia work really well to soothe your stomach, but they also both have oil absorbing properties, so they work really well on your face. And um, some of the ingredients are actually the same that you find in acne medications, but I know women with really oily skin that will put like a thin layer of Milk of Magnesia just on their face underneath their makeup to keep That's the oil away all day. It that works. Is incredible. Yeah. So you're using it as a primer, which we're paying $80 for a tiny little tube. Right. Well, you could use this I mean, only if you have really oily skin yeah. as a primer. Okay. Yes. All right. And finally, oh, I'm not even going to ask. I'm just going to leave preparation H. What to do with it? Yeah. What do you think? I don't, don't ask me. <laughs> don't. Okay. Well, the, the the wives' tale and what we hear is okay. This is a deep puffer underneath your eyes, and it is true. I mean, it's it not works? indicated for underneath your eyes, but before you rush out to buy it, you have to know that the active ingredient that makes this work was removed from the U.S. formulation. It's an active yeast cell. However, you can mail order it from Canada and it will say Avec uh, Biodyne and that's the one that you want to okay. make this work. Incredible. <laughs> Don't tell Chanel, but you can go to your five and dime store and get it all done. Well, the book is called Face This Real Advice from Real Models and to get more tips, go to facethis.blogspot.com.